Okay, well, it's that time once again to react to more Nostalgia Critic videos. And yeah, this being uh, the first Nostalgia Critic video that I'm reacting to for this month. Yep, and after I reacted to um, a couple of uh, the Nostalgia Critic videos uh, related to Superman and with Superman Month, and with that, of course, now over, so. And by the way, um, as of this recording, I just got back from uh, getting some errands and, well, getting back home because, you know, I'm just relaxing and doing a reaction video to something Nostalgia Critic. Because, I mean, you know, because I want to get this done and over with and get it out on time. So, you know. And yes, I know. I know. You read the title. You know exactly which Nostalgia Critic video it is that I'm reacting to. I mean, I didn't see this one coming. I'm sure a lot of you didn't either, um, for those of you that follow uh, Nostalgia Critic Channel Awesome. Nostalgia Critic doing a top 11 list of... Uh, what was the... How's the, how's the title? Oh, yeah. Top 11 poorly aged Bill Cosby commercials. Again, I know, I know, Bill Cosby and such. Well, hey, um... As of this recording, I think I I saw one or two reaction channels reacting to this, and most notably, um, the Renegades React. For those of you that that know, the Renegades React. Yeah, they do a lot of um, reactions to nostalgia critic videos. And hey, if they did a reaction to this, then so can I and everybody else. Um, besides, like. A while back, I, I did a reaction to, well, uh, I think it was Planet of the Commercials, or no, I think it, no, it was Kingdom of the Commercials, with, you know, so many titles to to the Nostalgia Critic videos where he does commercials, you know, um, so I think, yeah, it was Kingdom of the Commercials, and the very first uh, batch of commercials that he covered, those being uh, ones that have Bill Cosby in them. So, not to mention him being in the thumbnail of that uh, Nostalgia Critic video of commercials, and which, you know, using the... I use that for the green screen backdrop. Same goes for this, so I'm just saying. But, yeah, Bill Cosby, you know, at the time, you know, he was a funny guy and such. I mean, you know, he had a lot of great comedic stuff that he brought, and, um... I don't know. I mean, yes, I'm well aware of what had happened with him. I like to think as of today, I don't know, I mean, as of today slash now, I'd like to think he's doing okay, you know, if he's shaping things up, you know, like, he's, you know, been fixing up his mistakes, solving his problems, you know, if you get what I'm saying. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I know that I'm probably not right, but I'm just saying, you know. You know, not to mention, because, um, you know, some of the hit shows he's had, like, I think the Bill Cosby show, yeah, and uh, on Nick Jr., Nickelodeon, Noggin, etc., everything Nickelodeon, because, you know, Nick Jr., Noggin being a part of Nickelodeon, Little Bill. Does anybody remember Little Bill? How can you not remember Little Bill? I mean, I... I enjoyed watching Little Bill. I watched a good chunk of it. I most notably watched it on Noggin, because Noggin being the one channel where they showed a lot of great uh, preschool uh, shows from Nick Jr., um, I don't seem to recall watching it on Nick Jr., because, you know, you had Nick Jr., and then, you know, later in the day, then it would go to Nickelodeon. One of the first things that would play would be, well... Spongebob. <laughs> so I maybe I did, but it's been so long. But I very well remember watching Little Bill a lot on Noggin. So, yeah. So Little Bill was a pretty good show. It really was. Um, and, um, golly, I remember on the Noggin website, and if you guys remember too, I think there was just only one Little Bill active game or something like that. Like, it told a story, and, you know, it was still a game. Uh, Little Bill joining uh, with Captain Brainstorm saving the space explorers. Golly, just the memories of playing that and 
all the other great games that were on the Noggin website, I remember. And I'm sure you guys do too. So, um, you know, and also not to mention, Bill Cosby, on the side of family, that poor guy, he went through so much. He lost two of his kids. And if you if you guys know about that, it, it, it is sad. It is sad and tough when you lose a loved one, something very bad and so on. So... One of his kids, you know, sadly got murdered, and the other one died of the cancer diagnosis. But, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting what Nostalgia Critic has to say on, um, and what is going to be in this top 11 list. Um, you know, I mean, these commercials, yeah, I mean, they're harmless, but I I'm sure as though, but as of today... Eh, kind of cringy and such, you know. And I'm not trying to look er uh, ignorant. Yeah, that's the word, ignorant, okay? Just bear with me, guys, okay? Like I said, I'm not the only one that's doing a reaction to this. A lot of others on YouTube have done the same thing. So, there you go. And by the way, because um, I just feel like pointing this out, when I, when I set up the camera on my phone, I don't know, the lighting is kind of... I don't know, maybe maybe because of my eyesight, because after being out on the road and doing some errands, but I don't, I don't know. I just thought I'd point that out, but I'll find out like once I once I do the editing and such. Um, and you guys, like, I'm sure I hope the lighting is good for you. So, but enough said. Let's go ahead and get this reaction started again. Top eleven, yeah. Gotta read it again. Top 11 poorly aged Bill Cosby commercials. Yeah, literally, because knowing Doug, a.k.a. the Nostalgia Critic, and just like what he did in uh, Kingdom of the Commercials when covering a couple of commercials featuring Bill Cosby, he's gonna rip them and so on. You know what I mean? Knowing him. So, all right. So, without further ado, let's begin this reaction. Yeah, so uh, I didn't even do the countdown. Uh, okay, here we go. Starting the video in three, two, one. Uh, volume, yeah. Go. This episode brought to you by Chime, the award-winning app and debit card that can save you money today. Hey folks, we're starting also, got a drink, so. If you want access to emojis, polls, behind-the-scenes videos, and other perks, check out and see if you want to become a member. And we'll be at Midwest Gaming Classic in Wisconsin in early April. Hope to see you there. Is this supposed to be a video game they have now, or, or is it just like for a, for a poster? Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Hello, I'm the nostalgia guy. Remember, so you don't have to. Well, I don't usually get dressed up in my commercial attire unless I'm doing a commercial special. Somebody keeps popping up every single time I go looking for some commercials. True. I think you know what kind of popping up I'm talking about. Yes. Oh yeah, there's more where that came from. Another common phrase you might hear around him. Bill Cosby went from America's darling. Hey, I have Dr. Pepper, so. Biggest monsters. As such, there's a ton of ironic advertisements he was in celebrating what a decent human being he was and capitalizing on it. Well, sir, if she says no, no means no. <laughs> Here we go. Damn many of them. I couldn't keep spacing them out in commercial specials. Golly, that mustache. Top 11 list, we're going to look at the most uncomfortable, most cringy, and most collar-tugging TV ads, shorts, and yes, I see. I had PSAs, the high he's been. Why top 11? Because this dude deserves a lot more than that. And because... So join me in this journey of bad taste. This is the top 11 poorly aged Bill Cosby commercials. And because he likes to go one step beyond... Okay, that was in the Kingdom of the Commercials. There's going to be a lot of those random clips, you know. Number 11. Okay, number 11. You know what's so cool about Jell-O gelatin pops? Okay. Yeah, Jell-O had a hold on Cosby the same way Cosby often had a hold of something else. Now, while there's not a ton to mock in this one, it is a little awkward hearing Bill Cosby telling you what you can do with your hands while he sucks on something. Why are your nah. right hand is doing this? Your left hand can be doing this or this or you know. Or this. Or this. Or this. Or this. <laughs> yeah, okay, that one's fair. The middle finger. <laughs> and I just did thumbs up. On your right hand is having. Call the police. <laughs> oh, trust me, 
call the police. Trying to get other names out of Cosby for a while. Uh, now you have to share. Again, not entirely convinced you didn't. Mm. Like I said, not the biggest list of easy material, but we got ten left on this list, so let's not keep them waiting. That could be the thumbnail, because the timing of the wave. Only cooler. Only cooler. Catchy song. I see. It's a sensible drink. This one's from the Museum of Classic Chicago Television, which you should certainly check out if you haven't. And once again, hmm. there isn't a whole lot in this one. But a few moments at all, you remember. Hi, being Bill Cosby is I remember, I did have High C before. <laughs> I remember having High C before at McDonald's. Which I think, yeah, it did come back. I hope it's still there. Every six ounces of High C has 100% of the US RDA of vitamin C. High C has 10% real fruit juice. Just like the drinks he gave people, it has 10% actual juice. Like I said, there's not a ton more, but it does have that one hell of a final line he says to this kid. It's a oh. drink. Don't you think so? Yeah. Who asked you to talk? If he had a nickel every time he said that to a young person, he'd own high C. <laughs> this is one of many Cosby commercials where he's surrounded by kids and many of their parents practicing the phrase at the time. Don't worry, though. The list only gets worse. Who asked you to talk? W W Fuzzy Movies TV. Um, if he had, if he put that in. Your legal team advises you not to answer that. <laughs> this one is also super short, but it makes the awkwardness count when you just Jello. Cosby making anything for you and serving you with that devilish smile. I made delicious new fat-free Jello pudding and invited the grandkids over to try some. If they start to get a little tired after having it, that's just from all the running around. For me. <laughs> Invited the grandkids over to try some. <laughs> Too bad. He offered me cello! I felt a great relief in the room, as if millions of parents cried out in terror and then were suddenly thankful. <laughs> Dessert is back and it's fat free. Guess what else is back? This guy tried to get a comedy special going. Speaking of which, join me at number eight. Oh boy. What for? What's number eight, Doug? Bill Cosby, best selling yeah. author, TV star, and cleanest inmate in cell block C. It's a hilarious <laughs> comedy recording, Oh Baby. Okay, that title is bad enough, but do you really have to have that face next to it? And one of the funniest men in the world. Oh baby! Well, Cosby he was at the time. The product himself in this one. He is the star of it, and as you'd imagine, it leads to some awkward routines. Bill Cosby on marriage. There are things I'm not doing anymore. We want to believe you. <laughs> and, and not because I can. But because I don't want to. Okay, that you're not going to sell anyone. <laughs> Here's Bill on love. Here I am dozing off. The first year, no way I would doze off. Well, I think everybody sees the irony here, but continue. But I love her more today than back then when I stayed awake. So I figure if I turn the tables, maybe it equal more love in my life. <laughs> Bill Cosby gets his views on marriage, love, and skiing. Skiing we can probably skip. The other two we're far more curious about. Hmm. On cassette is only nine ninety five, but compact disc only fourteen ninety five. Oh baby, can you stop playing that again? Amateur Bill oh, Cosby is fast dropping his jaw like he just saw an ad for Quaaludes. <laughs> to say the nice guy routine might be a little tainted from Cosby, but I think we're used to things being tainted by him at this point anyway. Plus 295, close to June Hadley. Oh, baby, stop that. Stop that. <laughs> Thank you, Bankman. Number seven. Okay, what's number seven? Attention, Pepsi drinkers. Huh. Get ready for Coke stock to drop. But I don't have to. office for Ghost Dad. I don't have, wait. Introducing the new taste of Coca-Cola. But I have Dr. Pepper. Ever. We really couldn't put together this guy was a liar. He was the first person to say New Coke was good. That's all I'm going to say. In fact, that's all I have to say. No more words. The last thing said after anybody questioned, why does this taste funny? <laughs> this stuff is great. I'm sorry. I'm really, I'm sorry. Yes, if there's anything you should apologize for, it's saying New Coke is good. Oh. All right, that's also true, but you know there's more. It is true, yeah. What new new coke. How about a little ASMR of Bill Downing an uncertain liquid that we know deep down nobody should legally have in their mouth? 
Coke isn't. He made that noise like, I know this ain't Coke I'm swallowing. I don't know who it is, but it well, ain't Coke. Would anybody react that more way? More Just... Next you know, the... Number six. <sighs> The sizzling, the sizzling built up, like, I don't know. What's making these watermelons wiggle? I believe the new law has made it clear nobody needs to tell you what's making certain melons wiggle. <laughs> we just got past the chief list debacle. Do we really need to throw wiggling in there, too? <laughs> the nobody wiggled. Everybody just laid perfectly still. Wait, you might take that as an invite. Just stay away from him. A new law has also made it clear you cannot make up words anymore, especially Wigglicious, Tingle Jingle, and Bouncy Pumpies. We didn't think these laws would have to be made, but that's the least of the surprises we got from you. Sorry. Only the pig Cosby's legal team continues to dig their way out of. Hey, can I have your fun? I need it too. I believe fun has filed a 20-yard restraining order against you, so I would rephrase that. <laughs> So unbearable. Let's cut to another ad. I'm sure we'll be even more uncomfortable. Okay. Commercial break. <laughs> what a delightful time. Full of Where's this going? Blooming with you in Chicago snow. And of course, chime. I enjoy spring. All right. Chime puts my to my mind that I usually just would just see a little bit of it and where it goes. And sometimes I would show it, you know, in the corner or so of this reaction video. Okay, so. So far, because uh, we've made it up to 9 minutes, 11 seconds uh, in this video, and um, are we down to 5? I think so, yeah, 5 left. Because I think, yeah, even as of now with these commercial breaks and sponsors, um, when it, after number 6 and before coming up to top 5, that's when, you know. Okay, but so far what I have to say about this, well, okay. First off, like... You know, this is before what happened with Bill Cosby, these commercials, okay? I'd like to think, I would assume that something must have happened with him that just made him go insane with what he had done. There has to be, a, I don't know, like, was there was there an explanation what happened? Because I'm just saying, like, you know, if he did this, if he, whatever he did, like, did if he did it, if he literally did it intentionally or not, I'm j I am just saying, I'm just saying, okay? But, um, yeah, like I said, because I'm not the only one, I'm gonna say this again, and I'm probably gonna say it after and before this reaction video is done. I'm not the only one that's reacting to this. Check out all the other react, uh, channel reaction, reaction channels, yeah. Check out those, because they've already, they've so far reacted to this. Um, again, most notably, the Renegades react, so. Um, and I'd only seen a little glimpse on their reaction. Um, and they got, I think, yeah, there was one part they got a good laugh at, so, which will be coming up shortly. Um, and uh, don't worry, because, I mean, I didn't, I didn't watch it fully. I didn't get any, I didn't spoil myself with the video, because, you know, I knew I was going to do a react, a, a reaction to this, so I didn't watch it. I didn't watch the Renegades Reacts video, them reacting to it. You get my point. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyways, that's all I really got to say, so <clears throat> let's continue. Let me just get this. There we go. Playing Final Fantasy VII every Friday on Twitch. I've never played a Final Fantasy game before, so I'm excited to see what they're like. Hope to see you there. Hmm. Didn't you already play them? Like, okay, I was right. Five. We're down to the top five. So what's number five? Bill Cosby and Felicia Rashad. So there were several attempts at Cosby TV shows over the years. Yep. And in 1996, a show simply named Cosby was one of them. Well, there's certainly been a few uncomfortable moments. Monday, get the bear back. Oh, my God. There's a naked lady back there, and you're and you drawing fruit? Right. How old do I have to be before I get that disease? Oh, it's, it's been an... So not who he really is. Mr. Bean did that. really takes the cake. Sometimes Ruthie loves me. Time out! <laughs> oh, wow. And it only gets worse. Would you want that party? You should go upstairs now while the hostess is still awake. Well, that's not the 
usual tradition, but Cosby can work with it, just look at his reaction. That's usually the response he gives when the hostess is out. <laughs> ah, the usual every woman who's ever known him treatment. And he's still asleep. Well, he did wake up. His finger like an accident. Maybe that's what I can call it if I ever get subpoenaed. And after watching all that, find the words you want to see emphasize Cosby and Big. Isn't that the equivalent of seeing the words Weinstein and Shower together? Nobody talked about this show when it was... Really, on. Doug? Man, I'm sure people will be talking about this promo for a minute. That came out of nowhere. Okay, we get the point. Number four. Okay, number four. Yeah, Bill Caspi's blindfolding a minor. What about it? I finally found a way to keep a kid from knowing I'm making jello pudding for myself. Which means it's just pudding and nothing else. First, I put on mm. earmuffs to keep him from hearing the sound of milk pouring. Milk pouring on its own If he hears the jello, he'll go insane for jello. I put on a rubber nose to keep him from smelling the rich chocolate. <sighs> because my thought is no senses, no clues. I know what this commercial's doing, so. Let me use this rag to stuff in your mouth and. Don't worry, a legal loophole will get you out scot free. Another one that's pretty short, but seats all your senses in the front row of. Why not try our new jello pudding recipe, Strike Delight? I can think of a few reasons. Okay, number three. Three more left, so that's number three. Before we start the Fat Albert Show, I'd like to have a word with you young hmm. people. Fat Albert. This is a segment from the Fat Albert Show, which Cosby would usually appear in to state the lesson. If you think hmm. Bill Cosby spelling out the obvious moral sounds strange, get a load of this. Now, all of those people who are in prison right now, excluding me, right now, at the moment, were kids once. And then somewhere along the way, they did something wrong, something dumb. They got caught. Oh, I mean, uh, they didn't have enough hush money. Maybe it was getting mixed up with a bad crowd, or maybe it was shoplifting or stealing a car. Or maybe it was something else. <laughs> Whatever it was, it probably started small, became bigger. No argument here. <laughs> maybe they even got away with it at first and thought okay, they'd never get caught. They were wrong. Boy, he really should write another book. Are you there, Pot? It's me, Kettle. <laughs> Are you there? They're in prison. Excluding me, right now, at the moment. The prison isn't any fun and it isn't any joke. There are people that call you Vanessa and admire parts of your body you didn't know could be admired. Brother. So play it straight, gang. Straight is something I can speak from experience many do not practice in prison. Yeah, this one speaks for itself. Prison is bad, and if there's one thing I believe Bill Cosby on, it's that. That way, you'll get where you want to go, not where you don't. Right? Right. There we go. <laughs> Did he do a voice on the Big Fat Albert show? I don't see why not. This is Bill Cosby. Now that everybody has told you about the dangers of doing drugs, I'd like to tell you about some of the benefits. <laughs> yeah, what a way to start! Whoa! Weird Al. Series, The Cosby Show. And as such, he yeah, the Cosby Show. Hands. This is a basic just say no to drugs one, but for some reason, mm -hmm. he describes all the terrible things about drugs as benefits. And I don't know why. I mean, I can speculate. Yeah. He never builds up to a punchline. It's not like, ha, fooled ya, or it's a benefit if you're trying to die young or something ironic like that. He just lists everything you're supposed to not like about them as something he sees as a benefit. I'd like to tell you about some of the benefits. Well, I mean, just imagine se talking about something serious and important, right? No. Making a visit <laughs> to a hospital emergency room. Who put me in that emergency room? Weeks in rehabilitation centers, nights in overcrowded prisons. Oh, now I see why all this happened. He read the cue card wrong and he took his own advice. He was supposed to read horrors instead of benefits and he was No, like, I think he did read oh, the cue card. Right. Maybe I should get on that. Just see how many things he lists that happened to him. Spending more money than you can afford. Ruining your health. Hurting your parents. Losing your loved ones. And most of all, destroying yourself. <laughs> It makes for a pretty hilarious PSA, looking back. I remember what I say about doing drugs. I think you can say no. 
And I think you should have. <laughs> All right. Lay it on us. White Owl Cigars. Oh. First off, it's just really weird seeing Bill Cosby advertise cigars on TV. If you Back Ed then. Miller in a television commercial for guns. Like, oh, there's brother. worse things you can connect them to, but it's just odd seeing a celebrity, this product, and television commercial together. The reason this is number one, though, is not even because he says, like, a ton of crazy things that can be taken out of context. In fact, he only says one thing. But he says it over and over. Sooner or later, you're going to try White Owl, and when you do, we're going to get you. You know we're going to get you. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> Doug's face. We're going to get him, White Owl. We're going to get him. Right. Now, that could be the thumbnail. There is nothing more terrifying than Bill Cosby standing over you with a lit phallic symbol repeating several times, we're going to get you. He goes from goofball trying to be corny to a perverted Batman villain saying with pure confidence you will not escape him. It's just so unnerving. We got you. The smoke around him just looks like he's preparing a branding iron that says grade A BC meat. It's only a matter of time. And we're gonna get him right now. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get you. I have nothing to say. I'm just so uncomfortable watching this. We're gonna get you. Mm. You know we're gonna get you. If you played this on a loop, I guarantee every person who watched it would shit themselves in three minutes. There's no words to describe it except... Uh, that's not even a word, so there's no words to describe it. It just mm. is. And it should not. We got you. Mm. You know we're gonna get you. It's only a matter of time. We're gonna get you. And we're gonna get them No, not with the cigars. Cigars are dangerous. You can't get out of that. Oh, Should have figured they would play that. <laughs> We're continuing cameos for charity and all. Okay. And of course, the charity shout out as always. Holy cow. Holy cow. That was something. <laughs> that was something. And I'd like to point this out. Yeah, because I did I did laugh and chuckle. Well, it's not that I was it's not that I was doing intentionally. It's just, you know, some things that you just don't see coming from what you know, what Doug said and with the editing and what he threw in. You know what I mean? So you know, and by the way, because that part with that clip of Weird Al, whoa, like that, um, that's where, that's the part where when I, wa when I saw the Renegades react, their video reacting to this, I, that's, that's what I saw. I just watched a little snippet of it, a little snip of it, right with Weird Al, the clip of Weird Al popping up, and they laughed, okay? So... So, you know, they laughed too. So, anyways. God, again, you know, bear with me because, you know, I don't want to look er uh, ig ignorant and, and, and so on because I'm reacting to this, you know. But again, there have been plenty of others on YouTube. Um, mostly it's like so far it's been the Renegades React. Again, as I record this, reacting to this, and so on. And look, I mean, when these commercials came out, they were harmless and such, but because as of today, yeah, they could be kind of, I mean, not kind of, just they can be really awkward to watch, you know? Anything like that, you know? It's, it's true. And by the way, just that mustache that young Bill Cosby had, I'm sure back then, it, you know, he he looked good in the mustache, but later on, yeah, he looked he looked better without the mustache, you know, and that that little that small afro he had. I don't think it's really called an afro. I mean, an afro is a, like big hair and such. I want to say, but if you get you get what I'm saying, um, and I did not know that because uh, Bill Cosby was um, was on Big Fat Albert. I think yeah, I, I did get that right. Fat is it? Is big in the title, or is it just Fat Albert? Either way, because um, I, I had no idea. Because 
he was a part of that, and he would give out, like, messages at the end of an episode. And again, I wonder if he had, if he had done a, he, well, to put it this, if he had done a voice in the show. Now, I know on Little Bill, I, maybe he did one or two voices, but I remember most notably, he was the voice of Captain Brainstorm. I mean, yeah, I mean, he's, uh, I, 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 I would assume that, you know, he had done a lot of, uh, I mean, not a lot, but some some bit of voice work, you know. Um, again, little Bill, and if he did, if he did a voice or a voice or two on Fat Albert, yeah. So I don't see why not. And I forget because Fat Albert was it was in the seventies, wasn't it? I think so. Seventies, eighties, you know. And oh my gosh, the movie. Does anybody remember the movie? I, I think yeah, because. You know, not to mention, because Nostalgia Critic did do a review on that. Which, yeah, I, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll consider reacting to that. And, well, as you're watching this, um, you know, I had, I had already done my reaction to it. But here's the thing. After this reaction video, I assure you that the next Nostalgia Critic video that I'll be reacting to, which will come out later today, it'll be much better and... Yeah, just bear with me, okay? And besides, it's one nostalgia critic video that I've been I've been wanting to do for a while, and now is the perfect time to do so. But it's gonna come out it's gonna come out after this, and yeah, because the next nostalgia critic video that I'll be reacting to, because it came out before this, and you know I usually react to you know any video, whether if it's nostalgia critic or you know cinema sins trailers whatever, you know, uh, I usually react to them in the order of when they came out, but there have been occasional times like this where I would not react to them in the order when they were uploaded slash released, because, you know, I, I just felt like, you know, doing this first and then, you know, doing the next one, having that be the last one for this Friday, so, you know... Uh, yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm sure you get my point, so. But overall, the top 11 list of the poorly aged Bill Cosby commercials, eh, I mean, what Doug, a.k.a. the Nostalgia Critic, had to say on them, understandable. I mean, clearly, because I knew, and as I said before I started this video, he was going to rip on them and just just say so much, and he sure did. And just like what he did when he talked a little bit of of those commercials with him, Bill Cosby, that is, uh, in uh, one of his uh, commercials videos. And by the way, because what Doug said right before getting into the top 11 list that, you know, he would usually, you know, wear the donut, I heart donut shirt when he does commercials. But you I mean, there have been a, a rare times where, you know, he would have it on. Like, well, I can think of, say, yeah, the top 12 list of Christmas commercials, if any of you know about that one. Um, it's pretty good. Pretty good, actually. Um, and especially what what he had at, had at number one. Oh, that was a good one. Um, also, um, other, like, Chris, Christmas commercials that were on that list, um, well, because there was the Hershey Kisses one, you know, ringing the bells, we wish you Merry Christmas, and there was the M&M's commercial, you know, uh, Santa, <laughs> that one. Of course, it had to be in there, too. Um, and there was one of McDonald's. But anyway, so that was another time. That's an example that I'm that, that I'm that I'm pointing out because, you know, that was that was another time where, you know, he did have that shirt on and he was, you know, it was a video about commercials. But, you know, it was a top 12 slash top 11 list because, you know, he's done top 12 lists just for Christmas, for something Christmas, okay? Um, well, because 12 days of Christmas, that's fitting. So, yeah. All right, but again, again, overall, the top 11 list of poorly aged Bill Cosby, Bill, Bill Cosby commercials. Ugh, gotta slow down. Well, the video is what it is, and what Doug, a.k.a. the critic, had to say, and that's all I've really got to say. All right, so, yep. So that be my reaction to the top 11 list from the Nostalgia Critic. 
I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to it. Uh, what did you think of the video itself? Um, what, uh, you know, Nostalgia Critic had to say on the top 11 list of poorly aged Bill Cosby commercials? Um, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you would find them awkward too, you know, cringy. Um, you know, it is understandable. I can't deny it. Um, yeah, and all that I've had to say, and what did you think of my reaction? Leave comments and give this reaction video a like, as always. And so, with that being said, again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to the Nostalgia Critic video of the Top 11 Poorly Aged Bill Cosby commercials. More reaction videos are on the way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash reaction. Take care. Peace out, and stay tuned for what what the next Nostalgia Critic video is that I'll be reacting to. Uh, here's a hint. It has to do with a Italian plumber. Yeah, you know. Stay tuned for that. Again, take care, and peace out.